Uh, the best way to explain roller derby is by your hands. You got four blockers from one team and four blockers from the other, a jammer from each team, and these girls are the ones that score the points. They have the stars on their head. So these girls, every opponent that they pass, they get a point for. Their team is trying to hit them out of the way so that they can get those points. This team is trying to hit them out of the way for their girls to hit points. So. What's really important is for a jammer to get lead jammer, and the lead jammer is the jammer that gets through the pack first without any penalties. And the purpose of being the lead jammer and why it's so important is they can call the jam off by touching their hips at any time. So if that other jammer is behind them and they get through the pack a second time and the other jammer comes up, they can call it off so the other jammer doesn't get any points. And you just keep going around and scoring points until the lead jammer calls it off. It, it can get pretty brutal. Um, it is a full contact sport. Yes, you have padding on, but you are hitting people with every ounce of being that you have in you. The uniforms, yeah, they're they're cut up, they're tied up, you know, um, and you 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 want to look good. Like as as good as you can look while doing the sport. I guess it's such an aggressive sport. You you want to look good while you're doing it. The the pantyhose and stockings and fishnet. It really you need to wear pantyhose for safety. You fall and you could get skin, you know, taken off by the floor. Um, but then it just kind of came from that, where it just became this like funky, edgy thing. And now anything just goes. The wilder, almost the better. Uh, my roller derby name is Deviant Behavior, and I had a hard time deciding on it. It's a very personal decision and very important because you're going to be called that, and then you're also going to have nicknames made off of that nickname. So um, I actually just got mine from my favorite movie, which is Empire Records and it's from a line in there. And I figured I wanted something kind of PG that my grandma would be okay with, but still something that was a little bit scary for my competitors. Um, during the daytime, besides being my ultra ego at night, I have a serious ego in the day of being a pharmacist. I work for Walgreens, and uh, I went to school and got my PharmD doctrine, and I do this to let the steam off. Fancy Schmancy um, was actually my second name. My first name given to me by one of the coaches was Fancy Nancy for a character in a book series of little kids. And Fancy because of, they said my footwork. I move my feet different and fast and they say it's fancy. So it just came from that. I started playing in March 2009. You know, I had seen roller derby in the 80s. It came on after cartoons when I was a kid. Um, it was bank track though, so I remember seeing it, but I skated a lot at a roller rink as a kid. I did a lot of skating. Uh, roller derby got started in Jacksonville because there was other leagues in the state of Florida and there was somebody who caught wind of it and she wanted to start her own league and she just got a cr group of crazy girls together and they started gathering more and more girls eventually. And for a long time there, we just had about 20 girls coming and going and it got more and more serious and the league just took off from there. In Jacksonville, we have one large league, the Jacksonville Roller Girls. Then that league is made up of four teams. There's the All-Star team, the New Jack City Rollers, and then three of our home teams, the Duval Derby Dames, the River City Rat Pack, and the First Coast Fatals. Um, last year, we were nationally ranked, um, well, regionally ranked about 12th. So that's all the Southeast region, we, we were 12th. The Jacksonville Roller Girls are hugely involved in Jacksonville's community. Our, mostly focus on our derby season schedule and our bouts from March to October. But then October, November, and December, we focus mainly on charities. In October, we do the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure. This is our third year of being number third and raising money for the Jacksonville Race for the Cure. In November, we do a bout that is for the First Coast Crime Stoppers and all the, well, a portion of the proceeds goes to the First Coast Crime Stoppers for that bout. And then in December, we have a Toys for Tots. So you bring in a toy and you get in for free and then the Marines show up and they collect those toys. And I always like seeing the boys in uniform, so. <laughs>